Thank you very much. Now, <laughs> Colin Baker is here from Back from the Future. And this morning, we are talking about a very serious uh, subject because in a recent survey, 72% of 7 to 16 year olds are left unsupervised during internet usage. So that means that if you don't have the right uh, software on your computer, they can access a lot of uh, unsavory material. Good morning to you, Colin. Good morning, Al. I was interested to hear that. I mean, it's a pretty shocking statistic. Apparently, the balance of, of those kids, they're only super supervised occasionally as well. Yeah. So, And also you've got the, the, the fact that a lot of kids can run rings around their parents in terms of the internet in their home and because how they can they're access so it. They're so up on it. They're so yeah. quick yeah, they're so yeah, quick exactly. on it. And also you look at the devices, they've got laptops, they've got Xboxes, they've got PSPs, they've got MP3 players, Wi-Fi enabled phones. Mm -hmm. So it's it's very difficult to actually control. And as, you, as we know, there's, an, there's a lot of good stuff online, but there's a huge amount and, of yeah. inappropriate material that can come up randomly uh, and and accidentally, as well as obviously. Delivered. Okay, we're going to start with Net Genie. Net Genie is a, a, it, actually this has changed the world of internet security in the home. It's called a Net Genie, and it's a very very simple box that plugs into your existing broadband. Now it doesn't matter if that's one of the three G dongles plugs in the side, or your standard Aircom or UPC or fixed line broadband. Now as soon as you plug that in. Up on your screen comes a welcome splash screen. You don't need to put in any codes or anything like that. And it allows the parent to add their own name and their own administrator password. It then allows, for example, my godson, who's 13, just tied into it there. And he just put in his name and he was allowed by the parent, by mummy here, to put in his password. So all Thomas does is, anytime he goes online... So anybody I'm, then, everybody in the house Everybody in the house has their own earth. little, their own tag, their own little profile. And their own But as password. soon as they go online, they click into their name. Right. So Thomas comes along and he puts in his little pass, his, his password here. And then in he goes and he's free to browse. There's nothing funny on the computer. It works on any kind of computer, Mac, PC, PSP, now, how Game do, Station, how whatever. Do they, how does it know what not to allow? Or do you have to sit no. down and go, no, this, this is, is what I don't want him well, to watch this? Take for example here, he's browsing away normally. As I say, there's no funny messages. It doesn't slow anything down. And he's browsing his favourite you know, his, his favorite websites, etc. But as soon as he... So I, I wanted to pick out something that was kind of vaguely inappropriate for morning time. Violent movies say, for example, there. Right. So in he taps into violent movies. This box automatically preempts his browsing. So it looks at the websites ahead, where he's going, and assesses how risky they are. So when he goes here into 20 most but violent movies... But how would you movies, know that violent movies, you, his parents don't want him to watch violent movies? There's actually, movies. interestingly enough, I mean, straight away on screen here, it says, NetGenie thinks this website may be inappropriate for you. Now, he might say, well, actually, it's not. It's, my parents are OK with violent movies. Yeah. He can actually request permission. And the parent will get a little email saying, look, is it OK if Thomas checks out this particular site? And you might go, yeah, yeah, that's fine. He's got permission from then on. And it builds a profile of your acceptance in terms of what you're happy enough for, the, for Thomas okay. or for, for the kid to watch. And do you know sometimes when you type in something <clears> and <throat> you might literally be typing in Colin Baker... And you accidentally and get to a nasty website. Collins, that's your excuse. Yeah. No, but like literally then it becomes Collins... Favourite fun items Colin or something. Topless or you whatever, know, whatever yeah. it might be. And then suddenly, but how does it know not to go into that? It preemptively scans sites ahead of where you are and it assesses the words and the proximity of words. It's an incredibly clever system on the box that is constantly updated, by the way. Because it naturally enough it's connected to the internet, the team of researchers behind this product globally are constantly updating it in terms of how intelligent and how capable okay. it is. So it rarely, I've, I've actually had a good chance to play around with it and it's also you've got a profile as well you can whitelist your devices so that say your iPhone is completely without login so you just browse away as normal the other thing about this box is it has built-in security and antivirus so you don't actually need necessarily to have that on your computer okay 169 euro yeah. now a free one action alert and this is you free. were saying earlier why get that when you, you can, can get have this a free kind of one, thing yeah. for free this is totally different this is a, a, a what is an award-winning program developed in the States, which you can install on each individual computer. And what you do is, well, first of all, the program changes your home page to the safe search page. So it allows, you know, very much like a Google search, and in fact it, it does use Google, but it again preemptively scans and rates those uh, Google responses. So we can tap in here. You can change each user account. You know the way you have user accounts on your
on your computer, so you've mm -hmm. got Alan and you've got yeah. different users. Well, you can change each user account in terms of what it can access and what kind of profile, what kind of notifications you get. Where the, the annoying thing about this program is that what it does it has a dead list of websites and of particular sites that should be avoided. So it's not quite as intelligent as the NetGenie. The other thing on here is that you can set it up to notify you when there is a problem or when, when someone does attempt to download or install something that's completely inappropriate. Okay, so that that's free. That's a free. It's called yeah. Action Alert. Action and Alert. That's free. You then, just Google it, download it. Down, it go you have to install it on every device, every computer. That that's the that's the time consuming exactly. thing. But and when it you does do kind it. of remind you, like a lot of these free programs that says, would you like to buy it now? Do you realise if you pay this, you'll get these bonus features? The NetGenie is 169 but we have one to give away That's this right, morning yeah, yeah, yeah. to our viewers. So if uh, you are concerned about basically what your children are looking at on the internet in your home and you would like one of these, all you do is part of the text throughout the morning, we're going to choose the best text of the morning. So text us in right throughout the morning and later on we'll be choosing our, uh, our favourite text. So it could be any story, anything to do, about birthday wish or whatever, uh, just text us in and uh, Colin from Back From The Future will be giving you one of our net genies absolutely free. So uh, good good, uh, good advice there, Colin, good good stuff there. Very important uh, to, matter, um, of course. And a very well, important with matter, the amount, yeah. I mean, Apparently, kids these days, 6 to 12-year-olds, their internet usage in the last four years has doubled. Yeah. No, well, and, and, and as you said, they're so clever about <laughs> exactly. how, they, how they do it. They run, 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 Wood run, run, run rings around you. <laughs> That's not easy to say this time in the morning. Colin Baker, back Thanks, to Thank you very much.